Hey scholars, welcome to the Number Jungle. My name's Brendan Helwig and today we're going to be talking about the cross product. So, the cross product is a way of uh, dealing with vectors in order to find vectors that are uh, perpendicular to both of the um, both of the starting vectors. So in this case we want to find the cross product a cross b uh, for a equals 3i plus j minus k and b equals i minus 4j plus 2k. So how we're going to want to get started uh, is let's just write this out a cross b and then what we can do is say that that is going to equal uh, the product of this uh, matrix uh, where there's i, j, k and then we're going to put a on top so it will be 3, 1 because uh, that is the unit for j and k is negative 1. Now b is going to be 1 minus 4 and then 2. And so how we're going to, w to want to do this is uh, we effectively cross these out and look at i as i times uh, 1 times 2 minus uh, negative 4 times negative 1 and so that becomes 2 minus 4 equals minus 2 and then minus j and then that's going to be, we effectively cross these out, that is uh, j times 3 times 2, which is 6, minus negative 1 times 1, which is uh, negative 1, so 6 minus negative 1 is 7, and so that will be the scalar for j, and then plus vector k times, we cross these out, and we're left with negative 4 times 3, which is 12, uh, minus 1 times 1, which is 1. So we have k times negative 12 minus 1, which is negative 13. So uh, to write this out more cleanly, uh, this will be equal to negative 2i minus 7j uh, minus 13k. So the next step that we want to do is uh, check that this actually is perpendicular to both A and B. And so how we can do that is um, with the um, with uh, vectors, we know that um, vector A uh, dot, um, vector A dot, let's just call this, uh, vector c, when they're perpendicular, will be equal to zero. And the same thing for vector b dot c will equal zero if and only if they are perpendicular. So these are the two things that we're going to be multiplying. So let's do this one first. Uh, we multiply them by their components. So uh, 3i uh, times negative 2i is going to equal negative 6, and then 1j times negative 7j is going to equal negative 7, and then negative 1k times negative 13k is going to equal 13, and what that's going to equal is 0. So then our ne next step is going to be uh, 1 times negative 2 is going to be equal to negative 2, and then negative 4 times negative 7 is uh, going to be, um, that's going to be 28, and then uh, negative 13 times 2 is going to be 26, so minus 26, and this also is going to equal 0. So there we have it. We have now shown that uh, this, this vector here is perpendicular to both A and B. And uh, that means that it is the correct solution to A cross B. I hope you've learned a lot.